actually down fundraising Go on, at, at a Bunnings barbecue doing a sausage sizzle and we thought mm, maybe we think we'd better get out of here so we were, it was actually chasing us up the highway. So, so we got we, back yeah. and we mobilised to yeah. go to Wallet yeah. and originally they sort of said 50, 100 and I said no, grab every piece of food <laughs> we had, <laughs> take it down to Wallet. Yeah. That was in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, we um, got pulled out of there at about 7 the next morning. Yeah. We bed bowed and sealed food. We had um, yeah. families of um, different brigades down that way that had no power. They brought us food out of their freezers. The supermarkets were closed. The local pizza shop, shop had, a, yeah. had a power supply, so he was making pizzas. We had the Wallen Brigade making sandwiches and salads, and we just constantly kept um, making food. We did about 800 meals that night, and then we pulled out the next morning when the official um, emergency caterer, the Salvation Army, came in with their big catering vehicle. The next night, so because the fire was set up into sectors, we were just about to leave the station at 10 at night to go home and get some well-earned sleep yeah. and the phone went, Sal, can you gear up and feed 500? And I said, will you figure out where I'm going to source the food? We can feed 500. So we ended up feeding 350 out of the Kilmore Fire Station between 2 in the morning and four, 5 in the morning.